The pillars that we have here at MAC of health and education and housing and career pathways, they're all so connected. We're multifaceted for a couple of reasons. Over the years, we started the organization as a workforce agency 50 years ago, in 1965. What we started realizing is that workforce can only take you so far, and we started looking at other additional social services. Well, MAC provides services throughout the entire county of San Diego. Where we're good at things, programs, we focus on that. But many times our families need additional services that are not provided by MAC. And so what we do is we coordinate and program with other organizations that are providing services that complement what we are providing. Self-sufficiency means something different for every family. Now they can be assured that there's a greater chance that their children are going to graduate from high school, go on to college, higher education. They have the ability to eat healthier foods. They have the ability to access health insurance. And they have the ability to really have an, an environment where the children can even start doing activities and sporting events or other extracurricular activities outside of school. I especially appreciate the good work that they're doing with the communities, helping the communities to develop sustainable goals and achievements, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking to partner up with organizations that uh, have a commitment to the community as we do. The ultimate stakeholders are, are us. We're all stakeholders. And when I say us, is the public in general. Some of these programs that we operate do use public funds to provide the services. But our stakeholders are the employers out in the community. They're looking for people that are qualified to work. We have a strong commitment to community. We have a strong commitment to nonprofit organizations. We have a strong commitment to helping people because we're founded as a bank for immigrants. When people come to the United States, they want to bring their best forward and then they end up connecting with the best here. And that really only happens when you have that opportunity to connect with the community. About 70-75% of the population we serve is Latino. And there are very few organizations where the community trusts the organization. We've been around for 50 years. They know that we were able to provide these services. And so it's an access point for the family to come in. When we talk about self-sufficiency for families, you know, to a certain degree, nonprofits need to become self-sufficient as well. I think MAC and uh, East West Bank will uh, be good business partners. In fact, I know they will. Uh, their growth strategy and uh, their objectives align with ours. We had a very extensive interview process that we did with all the banks. Ultimately, what was most important for us was the relationship, was a partnership. So we were looking for a, a bank that would understand our organization, that would understand the population we serve, that would understand that we have multiple contracts that are federal, state, or local, or fee for service, that can then be flexible with the services that we provide as well as the banking services that we need. East West Bank is very happy to be the bank primordial for MAC. We have the ambition, as well as MAC, to grow in the community in all California.